If you're like me and you have many devices that use these 18650 lithium ion cells, then you want to know which ones you should buy and which ones you should stay away from. A few months back I found this cell online and if you look at it, it's made by GTL and they're claiming it's 10,000 milliamp hours or 10 amp hours. This lithium ion cell over here is made by Panasonic. Now this one I rewrapped and it's fairly new, the wrapping was damaged on it, but this one has a rating of 3,400 milliamp hours or 3.4 amp hours. And when I checked a few of these, the range was between 3,270 and 3,425. So fairly accurate with the Panasonic brand and I could say the Samsung is also good, but this one here is showing you 10,000 milliamp hours. And of course, many companies online will lie about the specification to get you to buy the product. So based on the size of the cell, which is 18 millimeters by 65 millimeters, you can only put so much energy into that cell. So if the Panasonic and Samsung are 3,400, and I think it may even max out on some 18650s around 35 or 3600 milliamp hours, you're not going to get more energy out of that cell using that battery chemistry. So over here you can see the 10,000, and I know it's an absolute lie because I tested it, and it only comes up 1,350 milliamp hours. An absolute disgrace. If you ever see this brand, GTL, I highly recommend you avoid it. Do not be a victim of the higher capacity rating and low cost. Now the very interesting thing about this cell is when you pick it up, the weight, it's extremely light. And that's a sign, and this one is much heavier. Let me take out the scale, and we're gonna weigh the two different cells. I'm going to weigh the Panasonic cell first. Very carefully. 46.2 grams. And now we're going to measure the wonderful 10,000 milliamp hour cell made by GTL. Look at that difference. The GTL cell is over 18 grams lighter, but they're claiming it has triple the capacity, which is an absolute joke. Now, if you take a look at the inside of a Panasonic or Samsung cell, like Big Clive did on his channel, you can see inside the cell is a very large diameter and tightly wound roll. So what I'd like to do now is take the 10,000 milliamp hour cell, cut off one end, so we can take a look at the inside and compare it to what the inside of this one would look like. Okay, right here you can see it's been cut open using my Dremel. So now let's pull the top off so we can take a look inside. With the top flipped out of the way, you can see that the roll inside, in comparison to the one that Big Clive showed, is not to the top of the cell. It's about 10 millimeters lower, and the roll itself is not a very tightly wound roll that goes all the way to the center. You can see you only have about one third of the roll that was inside the cell that he pulled apart. Clearly, having less surface area is going to give you a lower capacity output. As a result, you're going to end up with one third of the capacity of a Panasonic or Samsung cell. So 3,400 milliamp hours for those, and this one came in around 1250. And here you can see with the other end removed, I can slide it out now. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, share, and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.